they feeling like I'm academics. Can't ride no way. Hey, you know what's interesting? Did you see Diddy and Mike Tyson? And Diddy was trying. Yo, Diddy is is a different type of nigga, man. He be trying to cop a feel, bro. Diddy was up to no. Where can we find the full footage? Give me one question. Ask. There's only one question I ask you. When are you coming back? Um, I don't know when I'm coming back. I'm just, I'm into, I have so many different ventures, and I'm, I'm into the music business now. Are you really? Yeah. yeah. yeah I, I, I have an artist. I have a, a, a tremendous artist her name is Javine uh, um, Howard, and she's tremendous, and she needs a little bit more season when she gets to the top of her game. She, everybody else is going to have to compete for second place and be happy with it. She's totally awesome. Hopefully, you know, people have been helping me out. Um, White has been helping me out. Devontae Swing has helped me out. And hopefully, Puffy helped me out, you know. <laughs> That's, I, I, I mean, I, that's the first. That's the first I, I've heard about that. That's great, though. That's great. I, I believe so. Yeah. 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 But but I, but I, I, I mean, for for me as a fan and all the people out there, I just, I just hope the day comes soon that you do return to the ring. Cause you you are the best that's been there. And, you know, if, if it's if it's in the cards, it'll happen. I'm okay. Van ain't bad either. You know, I'm yeah, okay. Yeah. No, Van Van ain't bad. But you know. Like I said, that's that's for me to you. Thank you, bro. Yeah. What Absolutely. we doing, man? Let's talk about this guy. Yeah, let's let's, let's talk about Puff. Now, do you go you go to the shows? You check yeah, him out. Yeah, I've been to the concerts. Yeah. To the concerts. Tearing it up. Yeah. Now, were you there the night he fell? Because I heard one night. What you show know. was that? <laughs> that was that was at the Garden. At man, the man, Garden. Oh, you know why? Because when you're in your hometown, it's like a fight. You try to give this with, and you always want to lose in us, but. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was in my home, I was in my hometown. I was really excited to finally be performing in New York, and so I'm rocking. And so we got back in New York in the house. So, 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 I'm, so I'm performing and, you know, I'm just really excited. I'm trying to give it my all and I bust my ass. I front of like 20,000. I'm talking about like when you fall flat on your back. But I tried to do the play it off. You know how when you fall and you act like there ain't nobody seeing you just keep on rocking. But it was like, I, I just felt I was embarrassed for like weeks. Yeah, but the, 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 it truly is about the Benjamin, man. Let me see. Oh, yeah. He's, he's literally. He's literally. He's literally. He's literally. Yeah. Well, now when we come back, we're going to talk more with Puffy. And if you want to hang out. There ain't nobody seeing you just keep on rocking. But it was like, I just felt I was embarrassed for like weeks. It so, truly is about the Benjamin, as we see. Oh, yeah, he's literally. He's literally. Yeah. Well, now when we come back, we. Literally. He's literally. Well, literally. Yeah, I think Diddy was feeling up on that nigga thigh, man. He's literally. But it was like, I just felt I was embarrassed for like weeks. So, it truly is about the Benjamin, as we see. Oh, yeah, he's literally. Keep your hand there, pussy. Well, now, when we come back, we're going to talk more with Puffy. And if you want to hang out, more than welcome, stick around, my brother. Oh, All right? We'll be right back with more right after this. Oh, man. <laughs> now, who, who were your uh, influence? Who did you? Um, Barry Gordy. Mm -hmm. one of my influence. Andre Harrell. Right. My mother. And um, Heavy D, he put me in the game. What a bad. What a bad. Heavy D. What a bad. I think, I think uh, Heavy, Heavy, you, are you in the house, yo? <laughs> I mean, I want to fit. It'd be uncomfortable. uncomfortable. Right, right, right. <laughs> now, now, nah, that's all type of type of such shit going on. This nigga look like he's sitting on this nigga's lap. Puffy trying to feel up on this nigga's thigh. Uh, you, you and Puff grew up in Mount Vernon together. Yeah, right? yes, we did. Yeah, yeah. 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 And uh, uh, what was he like growing up? He's, be honest. <laughs> I am. Oh, yeah, he's, he's the same exact way, but he had less money then. Uh huh. So his energy, his attitude, everything like he was a gnat, like real annoying, like. <laughs> like, he was like he was annoying, but I, I've, ever since I met him, I loved him. Like it was just something about us that way we just messed into where other people never believed in him. It was something about him, like he would not give up. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would be somewhere and it's just like somebody jumping on. Yo, this nigga Diddy, he was trying to do a reach around, bro. This nigga was trying to do a reach around on Tyson. My back in his puff. I mean, literally, like, hey, jumping hey, on my hey, back. Hey, with you, hey, please. <laughs> Everything. So I always respected that about him, mm -hmm. and I look at him now and it's like, it, y'all may not believe it, but when I look at him, this is someone who, it's safe to say, came up under me. 
Right. And I'm looking at him, and I'm inspired. I, I look at him like, man, I could do that. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, right. he's going places and done things that I haven't even done. You know. Now, uh, both of you guys are working on the Soul Train Awards, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm co-hosting this year. Uh -huh. Puff is actually uh, I'm going to perform. I'm going to perform this year. You and you, and you, you're getting the Sammy Davis? Yeah, entertainment. Yeah. Entertainment of the year award. Yeah. Well, well, this one, you know you're going to yeah. get. Yeah. And deserve it. Deserve it. Definitely. Oh, Definitely. Thank you. I need you to help my artist out too. I need you on my artist new record. <laughs> Trevine Howard, we need you, baby. We need you. No problem, Mike. Got nothing but I'm love for you, know. baby. No, brother, I'm just showing you. Like, no. Everybody out there that got their scripts in the morning, you know, we listed in the yellow pages. We need all the, all the youth to, to you know, I, I can tell you just opening that company. Yeah, we did. You, the yellow pages. No, no, no. Just because he said, all they always scripts. Wait till you start getting some of the scripts. From... <laughs> You'll be like, hey, hey, if you don't have an agent, don't send me a script. You get some. Man, if somebody ain't giving me a chance, you know, I wouldn't be right. here today. So I want to I read a hey, everybody. Yeah, I, I hear you. We, we, we'll talk. We'll talk. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna talk. All right. So, so uh, we're gonna. No, no. We're gonna wrap it up a little bit. I, I just want Mike. You, you, all your ventures. Best to you. You know. Rain a record. Tavine Howard. All right. Every day. Pump Daddy. On the album. On the album. Appearing on the Keep Not Be Waiting show. It's all booked. It's all done. So no, for real. Whatever you do. Best Thank to you, my brother. Great right. seeing you. Right. Have. Right. Yeah, I seen this video. In an old Instagram live, LeBron can be seen laughing with the evil villain of 2024, the Diddler. And you'll never guess who he wanted to party with him. Hey, yo, they, they asking for Bronny. They asking for Bronny. Hey, where you at? Hey, they, 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 they see Bronny Rock. Hey, go get, go get your brother. Brian, come here. Come here, dog. Come here, man. Just show your face. Just show your face. Oh. Now you look. The kids are on, man. Come here. Bro, real quick, bro. In an old Instagram live, LeBron can be seen laughing with... Everybody, the whole R&B, yeah. all the producers, the whole R&B universe and family. Like, even when I did the R&B is dead, it was just to to make sure that people, we, we got in perspective that R&B and hip-hop are two different things. Mm -hmm. It's like we may look the same, but that do not mean that we the same. Mm -hmm. R&B is like baseball, hip-hop is like soccer. It's not the yeah. same thing. It shouldn't yeah. be competing. Everybody, the whole R&B, yeah. all the... Interesting question. I don't know if this was ever asked to you. We saw East Coast, West Coast. Mm -hmm. We talk about the hip-hop generation, Biggie, Tupac, all of that. We've seen the violence that occurred in the years past and stuff like that. Never heard much about that with you. I'm talk I don't know whether that's true or not. First of all, I want to say is that... I had a conversation with Big, and, you know, I was trying to be the broker between that yes. as well. And then, you know, squash the beef between us. Shows, yep. producing movies, we can't ignore all of that. Play the game, and I don't think uh, he played the game in the right way. Because at the end, if you're gonna sue, if you're gonna sue Di Diageo, you better have yourself together. Yeah, because they got I mean, they, they, the politicians love them. The, the politicians love them. They're, they're arguably the the number one uh, liquor brand in, in in the world. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you know when you look at politics and how politics work, you know these type of corporations do what? They put money into politicians' mm -hmm. uh, campaign fund. And, and that, but that's why I think he's in a world of trouble. And I don't know anything. I don't mm -hmm. want anybody to think I know anything. Diddy is always cool with me. Yeah, always treats me, me with respect. I hope that he's innocent of what he's being, uh, of what they're investigating him for. You know, some some uh, some sex ring, some some sex trafficking yeah. ring, and all of this stuff. I hope he's innocent of all. That. I don't yes. know what the hell is going on. But I do feel this way. In the world of big business, and this needs to be said while I'm sitting right next to you, Luke Campbell. In the world of big business, when you make an enemy of big business. Along the way, they know enough about you. Yes, they do. To come for you when they want to come for you. Yes, yes, they do. You understand? And, 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 and it don't have to involve jail. It doesn't have to involve a crime. It can involve them squeezing you out of your money. Yes, Making yeah. sure they humble you beyond repair. 
Yes, and and and, and that's it. that's what you see right now with Diddy, and you see that with Kanye West. Mm. You know, when you look at these two brothers, you know, they cut the deals, you know, with Adidas, and Adidas spend millions and billions of dollars and in putting into these dudes' pockets. Mm -hmm. You know, and 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 the liquor companies putting all these millions and billions into their pockets. These guys, you know. When you turn on them, you better know what you're doing. You know, and I always advise guys, don't you can't fight them because it becomes like CeeLo. No. You know, Big Bank take Lil Bank. You know, and, and, and Big Bank is gonna win every time. You know, and at the end of the day, you when you go into that war mm -hmm. with these individuals, you need to know that, you know, they they their their ideal of you, they own you. And if you turn on them, they're gonna break you, they're gonna humble right. you. You know, they're going to take everything that, that they gave you right. away from you, humble you, find another brother, mm -hmm. and put him on that pedestal, the same pedestal that they put you on. But as independent as you have been throughout your career, I think it's important to bring this up because I try to bring this up. You know, I'm 56 years old. I've been in my business for a long time. And I try to tell folks all the time, stop acting like you completely own and operate everything yourself. Everybody needs somebody and everybody answers somebody. Mm -hmm. Your bosses answer the bosses. Those bosses answer to somebody else. Those bosses answer the shareholders, okay? Mm -hmm. and, and, and board and members. Moving people stop. And, and board members, that's right. And board members and shareholders. And oh, by the way, in the end, you're going to have to deal with the public at large. You can't achieve success by yourself. You always right. need somebody. And to me, I think it's a mistake when people try to act like, I can do this by myself. I don't need a damn soul because you're going to find out you have to ask for something from somebody at some point. Am I wrong in thinking that oh, way? Oh, no, no question about it. You, you're going to have to, you're going to have to lean on other people when you when you get into that part of a uh, 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 big business and you're dealing with big business, you're the spokesperson for big business. Big business is is, is a it's a stock exchange traded stock, mm -hmm. and you're moving that stock because you you make these claims and accusations about them. Oh, trust me, before you get into that courtroom, they're gonna tarnish your entire reputation. So that jury that you think is the jury of your peers, they gonna already have this this understanding as to who you are. And you you gonna all right. Uh, real quick, let, let's switch gears a little bit. Glorilla numbers doing better on YouTube because LeBron. What LeBron? What LeBron do? By the way, everybody is reminding me. They say, "Yo, remember Young Chop? Been exposed all the shit we're talking about." He said that to Gilly um, when he exposed Meek Mill and Diddy. No, is Puffy taking his money or his manhood. Let's go back to this exposure. Lift yourself comes up. But you not gonna sit on here. Nah, that boy really scary like that though. He is. Who? Who I'm talking about. He really like that. Chop, I gotta get y'all back. Hey, nah, niggas talk that on the records though. I ain't gonna lie to you. Chop, Meek Mills is not no scary nigga, man. The same with Cassidy. I ain't nothing. <laughs> Listen, man, we talk about Meek Mills, man. What you about? Same with Lil Wayne. <laughs> Man, that's a scary nigga. No, niggas be scary, bro. No, 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 no. You can't put Meek Mills and Lil Wayne in the same. I'm telling right? you. I'm telling you this, bro. I'll be around French Montana. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be on I used to be on the road with them. Niggas be scary as hell. Hey, I so just feel so right. Hold I, on, wait. So you gonna sit over here and say French Montana is scary nigga? Bro. On the Bible. Yo, I've been French Montana since Coke Boy DVDs, man. Man, scary as hell. I just seen him in the studio not too long ago, like a couple days ago. I swear to God. I was was talk, you know, I talk about shit. You know, 50 be bullying his ass. I be talking about shit on. Oh, uh, okay. anyway. Ass kid. What that bit? I mean, that motherfucker. What's that car? No, no, I think this wasn't the one. Here we go. It works. <laughs> uh, the, the facts. I pulled it went to his show. He's shaking over this bitch. I'm gonna give you a trying to shake some shit up around here. God. Okay. Yeah. So if he said he ain't on that with you, then he not on that with you. The ass invaded and all that. You crazy now, nigga. Nah, he seen no. <laughs> okay, here we go. I guess I gotta play this then. No, if Puffy taking his money or his manhood. <laughs> Yeah, I've been to Puff House too. Motherfuckers used to run upstairs. Let me drop the phone on that one. Hey, <laughs> right hand up to God. <laughs> 50 ain't telling no lie out this motherfucker. You hear me? Hey, listen, listen. All I'm saying is, you can talk about whoever the fuck you want. You ain't talking about beat bills to the niggas all here. There ain't no scary niggas, man. I ain't saying.
don't know if Puffy taking his money or his manhood. Good with the nigga. I said you and him, nigga. Y'all got music together in videos. I said y'all niggas look good together. He know what that meant. Y'all look gay ass, boy. Get the fuck on, bro. Niggas be tweaking, bro. Trying to make it good with the nigga. I said you and him, nigga. I ain't gonna lie. Young Chop, he did come out spitting mad facts at a point. You like <laughs> hey, bro. <laughs> May God be with you, brother. Uh-huh. I think his name is Victory of Sea Boulevard. <laughs> yeah, Magically. I don't know what the fuck you talking about. It's an industrial um, area. Because <laughs> you crazy, nigga. Ooh, the blood of Jesus. <laughs> the blood of Jesus. <laughs> I'm getting you the fuck off. <laughs> the blood. I'm covered in the... Uh, do you have a problem with me? I don't know you like that, so I'm going to have a problem with nigga. Okay, I don't know. So uh, do you have a problem with me? I don't know you like that, so I'm going to have a problem with nigga. Okay, I don't know. so what the fuck you get on my line talking shit for then? He hurt, y'all. Don't, <laughs> don't get hurt. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on <laughs> so I know how to address it from here on out. <laughs> he said he hurt, y'all. I can feel energy. That shit crazy. Yeah, you better feel That's mine shaking right this now. Shit. You better feel mine right now. Why your shit, why your shit doing that? I'm going to stop. <laughs> Nigga, people calling me. Nigga, they try to figure out what's going on with you. That's how quick. Why? That's how quick I get phone calls. They try to figure out. They text me trying to figure out. Yeah, if it's really something or not. That's how quick this shit happened with me. That's how. That's how quick it. That's how quick it go. Do you have a problem with me? I don't know you like that, so I'm gonna have a problem, nigga. So what the fuck you get on my line talking shit for then? He hurt, y'all. Oh, no, nah, I don't get hurt. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on so I know how to address it from here on out. Is it? I can feel energy. That shit crazy. Yeah, you better feel mine right shaking now. shaking this shit. You better feel mine right now. <coughs> Hold on one second, Jack. Why your shit, why your shit doing that? Nigga, people calling me, nigga. They trying to figure out what's going on with you. That's how quick. Why? That's how quick I get phone calls. <laughs> They trying to figure out, they text me trying to figure out, yeah, if it's really something or not. Wait, that's I how quick it goes. I can't find it. That's how quick it goes. That's how quick it goes. Do you have Wait. a problem with me? Oh. Uh, from the love of it, you know what I'm saying? And it's dope, man. It's, it's really, really dope. I just had a question. I'm just trying to tell all these young cast items, trying to come up, you know, like, where do you think they got to go to? From your point of view, you know what I'm saying? What is the best advice you could give them? Because I be telling them, like, my best advice is they got to do it their whole new way, a different way, like, like, like they from another planet. But coming from you, coming from the man of, of, of men right now, tell them something. Tell them something good. I mean... First of all, you fucking stay away from these diddy bop motherfuckers. You motherfuckers dancing all on the motherfucking stage and shit. They want your ass. You call them astronauts. So be afraid. Be very afraid. You really ain't built for the game. Uh, something. Something. Something don't, like that. Don't be trying to be famous. Like you can't run now. into a motherfucker. Most of Takedown with Chris Hansen. Chris Hansen. So now we have two people come out saying that Diddy was talking to the feds. Do you think that's true? Whether it's true or not, and he might have been cooperative in some way, shape, or form, you don't get away with human trafficking unless you give up John Gotti or something like that, and that's not what happened here. I can tell you, Jesse, this, that this investigation's been going on for a long time, very closely held by HSI, so much so that even some <coughs> of the agents on the raid a week ago today, didn't know whose house they were raiding until they got there. That's how closely held this wow, was. Wow, because there could have been a tip. Absolutely. And there are allegations that he was paying law enforcement through his chief of security, which also happened to be Michael Jackson's chief of security. I don't know if I buy into that. You know, people in Diddy's situation like to have 
those involved in law enforcement close to them. But that doesn't mean they're taking payoffs. That doesn't mean they're doing big favors. They like that closeness. It's just like how Diddy was able to court Diageo or Estee Lauder. He was very successful in doing that, and that made him a lot of money and gave him credibility outside the hip-hop rap world. And that's what he was trying to do here, a lot like what Epstein did with very powerful political and business. Figures. And if you look at this report in the New York Post, you see it's a constellation oh, of billionaires he's involved very in. Very similar to what Epstein was doing. And, you know, these guys get drunk. Yeah, they're trying to get this nigga in the Epstein bag. Drunk with power, allegedly. <sighs> you know, Diddy has said that these allegations are false. But they get drunk with power, and all of a sudden they lose their, their balance. And what's right and what's wrong. And they're insulated, and they've got everybody telling them they're great. And all of a sudden, these civil suits come. Hey, speaking of which, uh, you know which beef I got to squash? I got to squash the 